In this video, we're going to take a look at this 2D laminated waste oil burner nozzle that I've come up with. We're going to see what this thing can do. This is going to help me 3D print these nozzles rather than have to build them. Hey, what's up, fellas? Doing a feasibility test today to determine whether or not we can 3D print waste oil burner nozzles. In this case, I've built a waste oil burner nozzle out of a three plate lamination of 1 8 inch stainless steel plate. And inside of here is a divergent convergent nozzle, but I'm learning some things about divergent convergent nozzles that I didn't know. The first and biggest problem being they don't work under supersonic conditions. So your average air compressor situation typically isn't going to achieve this. So the following is a simulation of subsonic flow. You get these eddy currents taking place in your divergent nozzle. And that's why we are, we are seeing the spray pattern coming out of this nozzle is just not even. This right here, they're the same, but you're still getting that swirl pattern. They're the same, meaning the diameters. This right here is a divergent cone. And look at the spray pattern. We're not getting, uh, there's not enough pressure for it to be even. So you get these vortices and eddy currents in there. And we'll take a look at that by spraying the air on my fingers here. Okay, in this little illustration here, we can see how altering or tampering with the flow can cause it to flip from the left or the right side of the discharge on this nozzle. Right now we're on the right side. I just mess with it a little bit here and you can see now it's spraying out of the left side of the nozzle. You can tell where it's indenting in my finger. So by tampering with the flow we can cause that to happen. It's going to spray out of the left or the right side. Because we are at subsonic flow we are getting this event right here where we're getting a jet coming out of one side or the other. Okay, so the first test, we're not going to use a pump. This, this particular nozzle will only siphon fluid at just below the choke point. Once you've exceeded the choke point, pressure actually starts to travel up into the Vatera tube. So the geometry is limited without a pump. But we are also going to try the same test with a pump because after all, we're just trying to make a, an awesome atomizer. The first test is divergent convergent nozzle at subsonic velocities. I'm not sure what pressure we would need to get um, supersonic. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on lightly. No pumping action yet. Okay, it's starting to pump the fluid just now. Here it comes. Okay, when it comes to the Ventura and when it comes to convergent divergent nozzles, inside the throat there's something called the choke point that takes place. And once you exceed the choke point, you're no longer producing a vacuum. So we're going to observe that here. I turn the air pressure way up past what this particular setup can handle and you can see we're now forcing air through the Ventura with the exact opposite of drawing a vacuum. But take a look at the spray pattern on the floor there. Notice how it's going towards the right. That's that strange flow we saw in the simulation taking place. So we do want to avoid that because we're subsonic we're just not going to get that. But when the water's present it doesn't seem to do that. Alright test two. We're going to be using a pump this time. I have a simple 5 to 9 psi fuel pump connected to a PMW, or PWM, I'm sorry. And we're going to see how well of a mist we get when we go past the choke point on the Ventura and are no longer able to draw a vacuum. So. Alright, so here we go. You can see it's got a pretty good spray pattern to it. Definitely enough fuel coming out of there for some good combustion. And I set up a better area where we can see this thing in action. That is a fantastic atomization cloud there. I think this is going to make a great burner nozzle. I'm half tempted to throw some diesel in there and light it on fire. But uh, this ain't too bad. 
we can definitely work with this. Now, I'm going to modify the interior geometry of this thing and do some testing with different shapes. You can see there we're getting that predominant right side shift when the water levels drop down real low. When the water is present to full effect, we lose that that phenomenon and now we're spraying out evenly so it's not a big deal when you've got sufficient fluid flow however I think I'm still gonna veer away from the divergent convergent nozzle and just go with the divergent nozzle setup because we are subsonic that's gonna give us the best effects just having a straight hole with maybe a little bit of a, like maybe a quarter inch of a tunnel a quarter inch of a nozzle distance I should say give it time to straighten back out after it comes out of the um, Ventura area so this is uh, working out far better than I could have ever imagined this was just made out of some pieces cut off the plasma table laminated together and then welded on the outside without even using welding rod I just used the metal itself so that's going to be pretty convenient and I can't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to 3d print this using a metal centering process going to be an expensive machine but anything to get away from having to build these nozzles all the time because the way I do it now after they're built they then have to be aligned the little tube cap stand in the middle is a pain in the neck to get straight this has none of that you could run this thing over with a truck almost and it would still be fine it's so durable so I definitely like what I'm looking at here the atomization cloud is amazing that sun makes it look like I got a white hot fireball going on the end there, doesn't it? So, this is what we're going to be doing in the next couple of days is testing out these things. I'm going to probably build a burner for this thing tonight and we're going to see what this thing will do on some diesel fuel in the morning. Alright fellas, so definitely a successful test going to veer away from the convergent divergent nozzle configuration and we're going to examine its features although this isn't bad I just don't like that tumbling effect that we get you see how the spray was doing this it's because of that tumble effect that we observed in the emanate in the animation the 2d laminated waste oil burner nozzle I want to be able to print these things out with a 3D centering printer. Or I might look into doing some aluminum casting out of these things. Aluminum would be sufficient. All right, so I think the dimensions are well proportioned for the objective. This should be perfect on the size. The geometry just needs altered a little bit. But other than that, it put out a very nice mist.